Hey guys, Sarah Grace here, and you know, this is a very impromptu video. This week has been anything but easy. Um, my internship has been long. I feel like my days are flying by and I'm not able to do what I've been wanting to do. Um, and I'm just, my heart feels empty and As I think about the future, I was, you know, I've been so into following my dreams, following my passions. I always encourage you guys to do that. And then all of a sudden, you know, life hit me this week and I didn't know if following my dreams and my passions were going to be good enough, if it was going to provide for me, if it was going to be okay. And I broke down the other night and just sobbed and sobbed because I sit here and I encourage you guys and I tell you to follow your dreams and then I'm sitting here and I just don't know if my dreams are good enough, if I'm good enough for my dreams. And then something stood up inside of me and I just had an amazing conversation on the phone with someone that I really look up to and someone that... <clears throat> I'm working for right now and I just want to encourage you guys risk it all like if you if you have the entrepreneur mindset like I do if you have that thing deep inside of your heart and your soul that I'm not gonna be happy unless I actually just pursue my dreams and my biggest goals and risk it all and you know if that is you because that is so me and all my friends have told me in my past you know you've never done things the regular way and you know I'm all of a sudden it got scary and I wanted to go back to what was safe I wanted to go get a typical RD job and provide for myself and all of a sudden you know after this phone call today I just was so encouraged to just go where I'm being called. Go where you're being called. That's what I'm encouraging you today because after this phone call, you know, we sit here and we just try to make up all these things we need in life and we become so materialistic and oh, I need this and that to be happy and I can't just drive this car, I need this kind of car and I need a house and I need all of this stuff and because we need all of this stuff, we don't go where we're called because it's just not safe enough. And I was just so convicted of that during this phone call. I was convicted that, you know, I, I needed safety and I didn't want to go into the unknown. And I sit here and I tell you guys to step out of your comfort zone. I, I say that the comfort zone doesn't produce anything great. And I say that you have to step out in faith. You have to take a leap of faith. And all of a sudden I was challenged myself. And I am challenged myself. And this is going to be a journey, guys. And I want to take you guys along with me. But... I just want to let you know that if you are out there and you're like me right now and you're wondering, I'm so miserable doing this or I don't want to get a typical job, that I know that I'm being called here but I'm scared. I know that I am have this dream but I'm scared. Go do it. Go pursue it. Go down that path and risk it all, guys, because I'm telling you, there's nothing like following your heart. There's nothing like following your biggest dreams, your biggest passions, the things that God has put deep inside of your heart. And no, like these next few months, this next year, this next two, these next two years, like they're not going to be probably easy for me. And you know, I could be getting a higher paying job right out of school and in my internship, but that's not where I'm being called. I'm being called. Like, I've been given this entrepreneur mindset for a reason. And this company that I've been working with, you know, I wasn't even looking for a job when I started working with them. And I just saw a vision with them. And I saw passion with them. And I was like, this is where I need to be. And so I'm going to go do it, guys. And I want you guys to come along 
for this journey with me if you want of becoming an entrepreneur, of following my dreams, my heart, where I've been called. And I wanna encourage you guys along the way. As I was expressing all these fears and all of this uncertainty and not knowing what to do with my future and just not knowing where to go because it wasn't the safe option what I felt like I was being called to. My friend just offered me such encouragement and was like, so what if, what if you fail? What's the worst possible thing that happens? It doesn't work out, you fail, you lose a little bit of money, and you go back to getting an RD job. That's the worst that can happen. And you know, I had to hear that. Like it was so good to hear because it's true. Like, so what if I fail? Okay, so I fail. I still have my mind. I still have family and I still have my faith in my Lord. And you know, that's all that matters. Like I don't need materialistic things in this life. And so I'm just, I don't know, like these are just so many thoughts of mine and what I've been going through this last week and why I haven't been so just on social media this week because I've been struggling, I really have. And so I just wanna encourage you guys out there. I just wanna remind you guys of what's important. We tell ourselves we need so much in life that we don't. And it prevents us from chasing our greatest dreams and going where we're called. So just ask yourself today, what if? What's the worst that can happen? What if I fail, you know? I don't know. Here is to the road of just following where I've been called and following my heart and chasing my greatest dreams and passions. And so if you guys want a video series on this of me chasing my own dreams and things I'm learning along the way, hardships, being real with you guys, then let me know because I will. Um, <laughs> I will be authentic. I will show you times like this where I'm struggling. I'll show you times like this past week where I just sat in the shower and cried and cried because I didn't know what to do. So there's my thoughts. That's where I'm at right now in life. And, you know, I've been sharing my life through social media for so long that sometimes I don't want to share everything and I don't want to share the hard behind the scenes. And I'm sitting here telling you guys that no matter who you're looking up to on social media, we all have a behind the scenes. We all have things that we struggle with and we all have days where we're sitting in the shower crying. and. Don't think that you're alone. Don't think that it's just, I'm having it hard and they have things perfect because it's not the case. It's not the case at all and I wanna keep it real for you guys here. So, um, I don't know. Just this, like, <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna end this video with encouraging you as I encourage myself right now to take that leap of faith, to follow where you're being called and follow your greatest passions and chase your greatest dreams and I'm gonna keep continuing to share my own and share this journey that I'm on because it's a hard one and you know doing what's not the typical path is hard you know you feel alone a lot you feel like you're risking it all that's not safe this world tells you to do what's safe that will keep you comfortable and that's just not me. That's just not who I am. And I know that that's not where I've been called. And so here's to the next few days and weeks and months and years ahead of me chasing my dreams and going where I'm called. And so I challenge you guys to do that too today and just kind of evaluate where you are at in life and come along this journey with me if you want. Whew. Until next time, guys. See you later.